Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, you you rap some positive shit, they gonna say you fell off where that shit's whack. But you go in there and say some negative shit. Look, on my Say Cheese platform, I can post, I posted a 13-year-old kid graduated high school in college. That did like 1,300 comments. But I posted about the Memphis murder rate, and that shit did 3,000 comments. Mm -hmm. People engage more with the bullshit. That's mm -hmm. right. People engage more with the bullshit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So recently, um, did you see where D1 Music went in with um, Rick Ross on his music? Not only Rick Ross, but also Jim Jones, Jim Jones and... Who else was it? Um, was the, oh, oh, Meek Mill. And Meek Mill saying that all about their lyrics, right? Y'all have become a place where you don't have to be rapping about drugs, money, this, that, whatever. How are you feeding these young minds in a positive way? Mm -hmm. Do you think that he has a, a valid point? What are you saying? That they're, ne they're too, like, negative? Or yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, like... Lyrically. Because he also went in on um, Lil Wayne before and on Jay-Z before on the same issue. Yeah. I think, uh, shit, all these niggas talk about foul shit in their music. Um... I think, I mean, yeah, he has a point, but, I mean, but you got the internet now. Kids are going to listen to what they want to listen to. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, you you rap some positive shit, they're going to say you fell off where that shit's whack, but you go in there and say some negative shit. Look, on my Say Cheese platform, I can post, I posted a 13-year-old kid graduated high school in college. That did like 1,300 comments. But I posted about the Memphis murder rate, and that shit did 3,000 comments. Mm -hmm. People engage more with the bullshit. That's mm -hmm. right. People engage more with the bullshit. I can interview somebody right now that's a CEO or boss. I can interview Boss Talk. I can interview y'all right now. Not saying y'all not lit, but it's going to do a certain number. Right. Let me go interview a fucking Nate Boone, a mm -hmm. fucking serial killer. It's going to do millions of views. We gravitate to bullshit. Exactly. So it's just like, yes, we blame the rappers, but the rappers is just feeding it to what the fans want. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, that's it's kind of like a catch twenty two to where it's like, I get it, cause I'm not. I get it. Like I, I get it. I get man. what D1 is talking about. But, but it ain't gonna change, yeah. man. Like, like this has been happening. D1 ain't the first person to come out and say, "Hey, I'm against certain things when it comes to material being spoken on in rap." Right. You know, it ain't mm -hmm. gonna. And 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 people are still gonna do their music. I think that's a part of it. Yeah, I think you need the yin and the yang to keep yeah. this thing going. I really do look at it on an over level like yeah. that. You gotta have both. But because you have you know so I mean? much what of you that, think, right? But because I think so, so. But because you have so much of that negativity, I know you. You, you you can try to find positive music but it's it's like this little compared it's, to yeah, you know what yeah, I mean yeah I get it so it's like I mean, it needs to be a balance artists, there are artists out here that don't rap about violence you know mm -hmm. Currency Larry June um, it's a lot of good rappers out here that um, that that are uh, that are kicking some cool play and shit you know what I'm saying it's just all about People be wanting to hear that shit from certain people, and that's not their brand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to go listen to Chief Keef and Lil Durk and have them talking about positive <laughs> shit. That's not their brand. But there are artists out here that have a positive brand that y'all can go listen to, right. but fans don't think they're cool enough. People want the cool rappers to talk about the good shit, and that's not where... They, I, I don't know. I didn't make up the rules, man. I, seen I on, didn't make up the rules. I seen on uh, Trio Talk, no Peel Talk, I seen about uh, Rod Wave taking... Little Boosie. fats, little fats. He said little fats on some little fats on and boosies. Really, I seen the boosies, but I seen on there he was saying little fat. Like, mm. do you think that it's cool? Do you think that I'm gonna bring the boosie part up? But these people are going back finding these people have said certain things that they said in songs. Right? Is that are they parallel and it's too close? Cause People say stuff. People go make platforms, do yeah. all this type of stuff. It's the thin line between copyright right. infringement and really it's that mm -hmm. person's art. What do you think about Man, that? it's crazy. Wayne did it. Wayne all, Wayne did it a few times. Jay-Z did it to Biggie. Like, um, it, <laughs> man, I don't know. Like, B Boosie did it. <laughs> Rod Wave post Boosie do it. Yeah. And, and I just interviewed Boosie's brother. I seen that. Yeah, no, I interviewed him again about again? the situation. Okay. It's crazy. 
And he said, well, shit, Boosie performed, Boosie, one of Boosie's biggest songs that he performs at all of his shows are one of them records where he he recited somebody's lyrics. Really? And, and, and he don't pay them, they publishing. So... Like like you said, it's a real thin line between that. It's a thin line. Is it copying or is it reciting? Is it paying homage? Well, but when you think about it, why is Boosie now all of a sudden? Is it because of the fact that maybe he's going through something? It's Man, monotone. He got, he got cases. People. He got stuff going on. It, it, even I heard stories about selling masters and all kind of stuff. Like, mm -hmm. what's going on? I mean, is this the? Is it just? Is it a reason behind it? Is what I start to ask myself. Like, yeah. why is this now all of a sudden a big deal? You know yeah, what I he mean? Calling out what Kodak? YG. Everybody, <laughs> they all getting it. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to go through and filter through what you it's just, will. It's just, it, I mean, Boosie do it too. So I don't understand. Like, why you tripping? Boosie does it too. Boosie it's multiple, done it. It's multiple records where Boosie is reciting somebody's lyrics, sampling somebody's song, and performing it at his shows. They should be getting publishing. Uh, a, a publishing, uh, I forgot what it's called, but when you when you recite somebody's uh, uh, lyrics at your show or sample their their song at your performance, they're supposed to get it's for like the BMI, like publishing or some shit. Man, so it's like you doing the same shit. It's crazy. Um, I got a question. So what what are your views on um, Lil Nas X um, doing a Christian song? Lil Nas X did a Christian song. He did. He he he, he really? did speak out about that the other night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, I, yeah. I, I, where did this question come from? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. <laughs> that's crazy. I, I, I be thinking, is he really gay, or is that a gimmick? Gay. I think that's gang. I think it's a gimmick. Is he? They said he had a Nicki Minaj. Uh, uh, Fan account, bro. Listen, I don't believe is he was really serious, gay, bro. I really, I, but it's because you never know in these days and time. Mm -hmm. You you deal with some of the craziest things. You know what I'm saying? Even when I just look at like all the stuff, I watch your show a lot, right? I seen you. One thing I seen me and, and me and Big D spoke about this too. You went live. Uh, no, you didn't go live. You went. You you posted Charleston White. And y'all streamed it. It did a million right at like as yeah. soon as you posted. Right. And I was asking him like, "What's the benefits of that?" You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, did that help you or did that hurt you? Cause I be looking at numbers. Me yeah. and him talk numbers. Right, me and right, Big right. D, I'm talking about. He was like, "No, I don't think. I think that's the best way to do." But I'm like, "Do we get paid?" Because they they turn yeah, me and this other dude talk, and he do it all the time. Shout out to Crisco. You don't. It turns yellow. Is what he told me until mm -hmm. they, you know what I'm saying? Until they, yeah, can, you don't get advertisement from live streaming. I don't think you see you what don't I'm get saying. Ads, you, there's no ads during that time. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.